seems like there's copper there and then there. Let's go out there and explore. See if this thing is real news or not, because of course we do need two pieces of copper. Oh, it's dark time outside too. Ooh, let's get our uh, sea glide out. Oh, and speaking of the topographical map, the sea glide has its own topographical map too. So definitely want to watch out for that and use it whenever we need to. But we do need to also watch out for these deposits of uh, whatever you call them. Copper, the limestone deposits or whatever it's called. Uh oh, seems like my habitat's on an emergency power only right now. Yeah, everything's eating through power hardcore. I definitely want to get myself more solar panels. So anyways, I don't quite know where all that copper supposedly is, but I guess I'll just kind of keep exploring here. I don't quite know if that, yeah, that's titanium. That's probably what it's... Oh man, copper right there, nice! Okay, well, we need one more, and then we can make the copper wire, and then the computer chip, so... We definitely need to keep our eyes peeled here, you guys. I wonder if I can go back to the scanner room, and one of those copper things is gonna be gone. Yeah, let's go check that real quick, you guys. That'd be kinda cool. That just kinda confirmed that it's actually real news, and actually showing me physical places where these things are located, these little deposits of copper, I assume. Ah, oh, man, I should probably, like, build an entrance, because I think I can. Kinda wanna build, like, an entrance directly into the scanner room, just so it's a little bit easier for me to go in and out of that, you know? And... Nah! I'm like, it's, it's still scanning for the copper, so I just assume that's not the copper, but I really do want to go find, like, one more piece of copper real quick, just so I can make the copper wire, and then get the HUD upgrade, which will, I guess, show these resources, kind of like these little little waypoints, these little beacons are showing on my map. I guess it'd be showing me on my little HUD, my little heads-up display, just like those, which would be fan fiddle diddle tastic making it a million times easier to find these resources and stuff like that, you know? Anyways, guess I'm going to pause the recording, try and find, like, one more piece of copper real quick, try and make the copper wire, try and get the HUD upgrade, and I guess I'll see you guys here in a bit, and we can see exactly how good or how bad and trash that might actually be, so <laughs> go to pause the recording, and I'll see you guys here in a bit. Oh, hold on. This is a pretty deep little hole. Oh, is that something I can mine? I don't know if that was. Do need to keep an eye on my oxygen. I did put up my extra oxygen tanks just because I needed more inventory space to get more like Chinese potatoes, marble melon seeds, all that kind of stuff. Oh, we do have another deposit right here. And that's lead. Uh, honestly, not bad. I'm not complaining about that one bit. Titanium. Definitely want one more copper. Is that copper? I th think that was. Was it? It was. Holy yuck. Okay, well, I guess I didn't need to pause the recording, you guys. All right. Well... <laughs> Just go back home real quick. Let's go make the copper wire, the computer chip, and I think we already have the table coral and the gold in my inventory, so I guess we're good to go on that front. Yeah, hold on. If I want to make a hatch, can I do that? Oh, I need quartz. Okay, well, that'll take me directly into the scanner room, which will be very, 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 very helpful. So I think I just need one more quartz, and I'll be good to go on that, right? Here we go. Here's quartz. All right, well, I think we're ready. Let's go make the uh, the copper wire, which will be over here in electronics. There's the copper wire. And then turn this, along with other stuff, into a computer chip. Boom. And then let's go over to the scanner room. Actually, yeah, hold on. We can go to the scanner room by actually making the entrance out working on. Yeah, let's go do that real quick. And I forgot about this, but you guys were commenting saying, hey, oh, I need two titanium, but I think I could afford that, right? Yep. There you go. All right. So now we have our own hatch directly into the scanner room. Perfect. But you guys are saying, hey, there is a, a creature egg, a rare creature egg at the Dagazi, 500 meters below the surface base in that direction. So I guess I'm going to go back there maybe with my... But then again, you guys were also saying the 200 at the top of my Seamoth. I guess I can show you guys that real quick. Apparently that number 200 actually implies that is how deep I can go before... Welcome aboard, Captain. Before the Seamoth will get, I guess, crushed under the pressure of the water. So yeah, that, that yellow 200 at the very top next to 39 meters. I assume that's what it is. I assume that's like the crush pressure like thing. I, maybe I need to upgrade that thing to actually make it more durable under higher pressure situations. Welcome aboard, Captain. Mm, thank you. Anyways, let's go back over here and boom, the scanner HUD thing. So I guess I... Do I put that in, like, I, I know there's... Yeah. Oh, yeah, right there. That's exactly what I was thinking. Like, I, I remember there's, like, two little computer chip slots right there. And there we go. Streams data from the scanner rooms to the HUD. But I guess it only show. Ooh. <gasps> yes. Just like I thought. Just like I thought. That's what I'm saying, you guys. Yes. So, I guess what I have right now is that I haven't only shown me where copper ore is. So, that's very cool. But I guess I could hit the X on the scanner room. And it will, uh, show all these other ores. Is there a, uh, no, there's no crash fish, I believe that's what it's called. Wait, oh. Oh, that's just... I guess it's just showing me copper ore that's just on the sea floor. I guess. Oh, no, I just inhaled some of that fart. I guess so. I'm like, eh, I, I guess it's not showing me, like... Oh, we do have, uh, two things over here. I guess I'll grab that metal salvage. I'm like, I do need it nowadays. What's that? I guess I already scanned that. Oh, copper ore right there. Looks like these fellas are... Oh! Oh, pick it up, pick it up. 
Now, I do want to... Oh! I do want to watch out and see if these guys have any teeth for me to pick up. Because remember, we did just learn about that. They do uh, drop their teeth. Mm, I'm like, it is kind of hard to see whenever it's on the sea floor. Basically, the same color as the tooth. Oh, wait, there we go. There's one. Boom! Another tooth! All right! Is there a second one? Because, of course, there is a second uh, actual fish, fellow. Soccer. Yeah, I don't know. Let me get that salt, though. Boom. But apparently, we can actually get these guys to, you know, be tamed to us. Apparently, we just need to get peepers. Oh, another tooth. Oh, man, two teeth. Wow, three. Holy heck. A lot of teeth over here, you guys. Wow. Oh, my gosh. And then another metal salvage thing. Now, how in the world? Oh, what in the world is that? Oh, man, they... Oh, no, that's bad. They're attacking me. Man. Well, let me get on my, uh... Let me get my sea line back out. There we go. And let me go grab that other tooth. Yeah, I, oh my gosh, there's two. There's, how many more teeth? Inventory full. There's three more teeth. Holy heck. Anything in my inventory I can just dry out. Yeah, let's get rid of these decomposing uh, Chinese potatoes. Wow, so many of these stalker teeth down here, you guys. Wow. Definitely want to look at the sea floor around these uh, these stalkers. And I'm, uh, can I grab that? Oh, I can. Wow. Okay, well, <laughs> guess I'm out of here. Oh, let's go before we're dead. Man. All right, well, let's go back to the scanner room real quick. Well, here it is all the way over here. All right. Well, let's go back to the scanner room. I guess I guess I can disable the camera one, camera two of my scanner room just because I'm like, I'm not using them right now. Of course, whenever I do use them as actual drones, of course, I do need to re-enable the little, little label there just so I know where they're at whenever I'm, you know, using them and stuff like that. But let's go back real quick. And let's go disable copper only. And let's see what else it shows us. And I assume this HUD only works whenever I'm in range of the scanner room. I don't know if I was able to say that whenever I was just kind of memeing around right there. Anyways, disable that. So... I don't... Oh, heat area, lead, limestone. Ooh, the lime... Yes. So I can have it show limestone chunks too. So that's good. That's basically like a uh, little like rolling the dice every time I uh, break them. Like, is it going to give me titanium? Is it going to give me lead? Is it going to give me other stuff? Wreckage, there's salt deposits, sandstone chunks. This is really cool. So I guess whenever I have it in the menu like that, it's not showing me a specific thing. So limestone chunk, let's have it scan these. And I assume it's just picking up a bunch of random stuff. And I assume, oh, limestone chunk right there. Just picked one up. Nice. All right, well, let's go see if this thing is real news. This seems like it's really... Whoa, there's one, like, right outside my thing. I didn't see that. Of course, these things do kind of blend in a little bit, so... Yeah, you'll miss them. Yep, mm-hmm. This is going to be so... My gosh, I'm so glad I made this. This is going to be so helpful. Man, how did I miss right there? What in the world? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I need to put some of these things up, you guys. Wow. Chair squeaking over here, too. I do need to put some of these things up because I do not have the room for it in my inventory, especially with these uh, metal square, uh, metal salvage and stuff like that. So, anyways, I guess I'm going to pause the recording, do a bunch of other stuff, and uh, continue making these plant pot things. I guess I can do that, yeah. I guess I'll make uh, more of the, how many How many titanium do I have right now? Not any, like, at all, basically. And there's even limestone chunks on. Man, there's so many. You guys can see why I'm over here, like, all giddy and happy about having these, uh, like, the scanner. I am so glad that I made it right now, and I didn't end up making some other trash. So, man, you guys were also saying how uh, invaluable the scanner room actually is. And I definitely, definitely agree. So, anyways, let's go up to the top room. Yeah, wow, look at all this. We're going to have so much food over here, guys. We're not going to depend exclusively on cured peepers and stuff like that. This is so. This is what I'm talking about. This is the main reason why I wanted to have like an, a whole entire room exclusively. Oh, and by the way, I found a chunk of bioreactor, scanned it, and now we can make one. Uh, compost or composts organic matter into electrical energy. I assume we could just throw like unused potato plants or something like that. And nuclear reactor. Yeah, I forgot about that thing. Of course, we don't have all the other. Uh, we don't have the blueprint for it. We can't craft it right now. But I assume if we get that, we're not going to have to rely exclusively on the solar panels for uh, as the exterior grow bed or underwater. Ooh. So I assume. Yeah, I didn't even think about this. But maybe we could use the exterior grow bed underwater and then use the seeds of the writhing weeds and the man what are those kelp things called again i forgot that but i assume we can grow those instead of having to go over there and you know risk getting heckin stalked by a stalker you know I, feel, I, I assume we could just do that and it'll be a million times easier and safer so anyways we just need uh two copper uh two titanium to make one of these plant pot things which of course is able to have four marble melon plants or one chinese potato plant and of course we have all of these things wow look at all those marble melons sheesh speaking of the devil 
We have so many plants over here, you guys. It's crazy. If I ever need food, if I ever run out of food or anything like that, we can just come up here and we'll be good to go. Oh, man, I ran out of titanium. What in the world? Uh, well, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> my inventory is, like, full of, like, stalker teeth and stuff like that. It's kind of crazy. Anyways, you guys get the idea of, oh, my gosh, look at all these limestone chunks. Let me go look at the actual topographical map over here. Wow. Oh my gosh, look at all this you got. <laughs> Man, we are going to be so well off here off camera after I, you know, harvest all these limestone chunks, you guys. This is going to be awesome. Anyways, like I said a million times, I'm going to pause the recording, do all that stuff I've been talking about. And I guess I'll see you guys here in a bit. All right, guys, back. Look at my heckin' screen. There's so many limestone chunks around here. This is kind of crazy. Look at the topographical map. This is kind of crazy. There's so much around here, and I was just collecting a bunch of them, too. Anyways, let me come over here to the Fabrica Tua and give it a scanner room speed upgrade real quick. It enhances the speed of the scanner room functionality. I suppose I could do that just because why not, right? Sounds like a pretty good all around upgrade. And we could do a uh, range upgrade as well, but I don't have any magnetite, unfortunately. But I do have insane amounts of copper now, and even more inside of my chest it's awesome anyways uh what in the world why have a hover fish i don't know <laughs> let me put that up inside there and i guess i can go uh cook the hover fish or something and just kind of you know use it well anyways i guess i'm gonna quit that because i already have tons of this stuff and it's <laughs> yeah, honestly it's wagging out my second game where's my other camera at uh where's the Ooh, i think it's i think it's really far away you guys oh there we go we're in the oh no uh-oh i think this camera got picked up by my oh no this camera totally got picked up by a stalker, you guys. But, uh, oh, let's go home. Go home. Let's go home. Holy heck. This thing is far as heck away. Sheesh, I guess that's what happens. Is that these, these cameras go scouting around. And that's how they actually, you know, find these limestone deposits or whatever you want them to go find. And because they're out there on their own, they're out in the open and stuff like that, they're kind of vulnerable to critters like the stalker. So, oh man, speaking of that, I do, oh, well, oh, sheesh. Two stalkers. Looks like there's gonna. It just stole my other camera. That's what I'm talking about. No, man. Put this one up. And the other camera. There it is right here. Man, what in the world? Everything's like upside down. And there's like a stalker fin or something there. Sheesh. Come on. Set me free. Get me out of your jaws, you piece of trash. You don't need to grind your teeth against me. Man. <laughs> oh, man. So I, I guess that's why you're able to make multiple cameras. Because maybe you're going to lose one. Maybe it's going to heck and break from these heck and soccer. Oh, man, they didn't like... They still haven't let go of me. What in the world is going on? Come on. Man, we're almost 200 meters away. 178 meters away right now. Sheesh. Let go of me already, you piece of garbage. Man, I guess I'm going to have to steal. Oh, there we go. 200 meters away now. Sheesh. I guess I have to go steal myself. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Sheesh. I don't know how I just freed myself. I think I was able to free myself using the button right there. Anyways. Oh, we need to go this way. Trying to get away from the heck and stop. Oh. No. No. Oh, there. Oh, come on. Let go. Let go of me already. Yep, he's a garbage. Let go. Uh-oh. He's taking me out of the water. No, no. <laughs> I guess not. Come on. Man, at least we have a pretty good amount of uh, energy right now and full durability, too, so that's good. Anyways, I don't know where I am. I don't need... Oh, oh there's home. Let's go home. I'm finding... A oh, sheesh, I just went to the other camera accidentally. Whoops. Uh-oh. Did the other camera go out, too? Oh, oh, okay, here we go. Okay, we're back to this camera. That's good. Ooh, anyways. Yeah, it looks like the other camera's scouting out for whatever reason, even though I told the... Uh, Scanner room not to go, you know, scanning for things right now. It's not scanning A, it's not supposed to scan anything. So I wonder if the other one got stolen just... It looks like, yep, yep, looks like those, uh, those little fellas are stealing our heckin' cameras over here. So I guess we need to watch out for that, you guys. Need to make sure they don't heckin', you know, steal them and stuff like that. But yep, yep, look at that. Man, how do I, how do I prevent them from doing that, though? Ah, man, I don't know. Is there an upgrade? Camera drone control, yeah, we already have that. Uh, I don't think there's an upgrade I could give to, like, heck and defend my base. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't know if there's something I can actually, you know, do to or build or anything like that to actually, you know, prevent critters from coming to my base and stuff like that, you know. So I guess I have to go over all the way over here and go rescue my own camera from the heckin' shark fellows over here, the stalkers, because they keep on stealing my stuff. There you go. Oh, inventory full. Uh-oh. Oh... Man, come on. I don't have any room. I might as well drink some. Oh, I just dro oh, dropped the water. Okay, drink the water instead. Sheesh. <laughs> there you go. Uh, anything? I'll drop that hoverfish. Don't need that garbage. All right, let me grab my camera. There we go. Finally. Sheesh. But 
Man, I, I, I feel so great right now. We have so much copper. Of course, the acid mushrooms are big. Look at that, there's three stalkers going back to my base. You get the heck away from here, you pieces of garbage. One of them's like an, yep, they just stole my cameras again. You kidding me? Nasty infected fella, get away. Oh man, the one that took my heckin' camera. Man, he's all the way over there. I need to keep slicing and dicing these fellas. Kill, 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 kill. I'm getting hit over here too, sheesh. Yeah, get the heck away. I'm defending my own base. I'm defending my own. Man, they stole my baby. They stole my little drone. Let's go grab uh, this camera over here and I guess attack the heckin' stalker fella and make sure this doesn't happen again. Let go. Man, I have to go get some more stuff now. My inventory is completely full. Ah, uh, man, I don't want to drop anything right now. I don't want to drop the one. Man, he stole it again. Ah, oh, man, I don't know what to do about that. I should, I should probably go look up, like, how to prevent stalkers from heckin' stealing your scanner room cameras all the time. Because we, this has never happened before. We've never had millions of stalkers come to our base and just heckin' stealing our stuff all the time. <laughs> so I don't know what to do about it. I could just drop this one off. But of course, whenever I do that, we're just going to have a million more stockers coming all the way over here. So I don't know what to do, to be quite honest. <laughs> oh, man, yeah, yeah, go to the surface. All right, well, I guess I'm going to pause the recording and continue doing more off-camera stuff. And I guess I'll see you guys here in a bit and probably try and figure out how in the world I can prevent these stockers from stealing my cameras. I, I am trying to assert my dominance over here by, you know, slicing and dicing, if you will. Oh, no. God, this infected little nasty thing. Get over here, you piece of trash. Slice and dice. Yeah, let go of my baby. Yeah. Yeah, you better stay away. Oh, oh yeah, you wanna fight? I'll fight you at PAX. I'll fight you at PAX. Fight me at VidCon, hater. I guess, yeah, yeah, they don't want a piece of me. Yeah. <laughs> Anything over here that's worthwhile? Uh, I guess I already scanned whatever is inside there. All right. Well, I guess it. Oh, sheesh. Did the other camera get taken already? Maybe not. I don't think so. It looks like it's still at the base. Okay, that's good. Ooh. But are there any stalkers over there? That's the question. Did I actually ward them off by attacking them? And now they know, hey, don't mess with the fella. Maybe. Seems like it. All right. Well, let's go to the surface real quick and get ourselves some, you know, oxygen. There we go. All right. And then let's go drop off the other camera real quick. Still not seeing any stalkers, so that's good. <laughs> and let's go drop it off right about here. And I think it's going to, like, attach itself. I do wonder, there are things I can scan for, such as a heat area lid, data box. Ooh, data box. I didn't even think about that, but yeah, that seems like a really good idea. Reef back, don't need that garbage. Metal salvage, don't need that. What is there? Wreckage, yeah. That seems like a really good one there. And of course, stock tooth. I'm like, I don't need that, but wreckage. I wonder if I can actually scan for that stuff. See if I can actually find some more scannable things and maybe get the, uh, the battery charger and stuff like that. Maybe that's something I can actually do. So, anyways, oh. Are my cameras still here? Are they out exploring on their own, or did a heckin' stalker get them? Uh, that camera's still there, and the other camera's still here as well. Yes, okay, so I guess it's not scouting out. Yo! Well, yeah, I know there's wreckage over here. I don't know why it's telling me that, unless there's one that I missed. Okay, I think it's just showing the general area of the wreckage. So I guess that's what it's doing, which I guess isn't necessarily a bad thing, because it basically shows a bunch of areas where... I can scan for things, like, I think there was, like, a sea glide thing there, or something. Ah, uh, looks like both of my cameras are still there, that's good. And there's yet another stalker, sheesh. But anyways, let's go over to this one real quick. Let's go see if there's anything over here worth scanning before I actually buy- <laughs> This happens all the time! Oh man, that one's actually far as heck away. There's another wreckage all the way over there, but... Yeah, I don't think I was all the way over here, I might want to come over here with my Seamoth or something. Oh wait, that uh, is a little bit closer than I thought, okay, that's good. But, let's see. What is this? Yeah, that doesn't look... I think that's the laser gun right there. Hold on. Laser... Yeah, laser cutter. Apparently, that's what you need to go inside of the... The Aurora and break down doors and stuff like that. So, that's very interesting. Ooh, that's actually... Hold on. Can I go in that? Whoa! See, yep, that's what I'm talking about. Sealed door. It seems like we can actually go inside that, you guys. But... Mm, yeah, let's go get some oxygen real quick. Especially because I do not have my extra... Scuba tanks right now, so... Ooh, Subnautica music playing. All right, let's go down and let's go get the laser cutter. And I guess we're going to be cutting inside there. Maybe we're going to get some wreckage that we could actually scan. Uh, on one hand, I do kind of want to go see if there's anything outside uh, the actual wreckage and see if I could actually scan anything here first. Let's go inside. Let's get the laser cutter. Put that, I guess, on that because I'm not going to be using the habitat container thing. Uh, whoops, that's the scanner. Uh, is that the repair gun? Hold on. That is a repair gun. What? No, here we go. Laser cutter. Sheesh. <laughs> 
There we go. All right, we're going to be opening up a door here, you guys. We have about a minute and a half-ish of time. Might want to go get some more oxygen here in a moment before the actual door opens. And there we go, 100%. All right, well, we do have a whole minute. Can I go inside? Yes, I can. Ooh, propulsion cannon fragment. Whoa! Whoa, that is... I think I remember seeing that earlier on in the blueprint stuff and being like, whoa, that's probably what you need. Oh, I can just open this up. Whoa, is this like... Whoa, more cargo. Okay. What in the world? No! Man, I accidentally hit the... Man, I might need to go get some more oxygen here in a moment, you guys. Open that back up, you dumb. Man, why did I close the door I just opened? Sheesh. All right, that's going to waste a lot of time. Yeah, yeah oh, ooh. What is that? What is that? What is that? Modification. Oh my god, yes! Modification station, Frank. That's what we need for the, uh, the, the, the flippers. Oh, and there, by the way, oh, yep, there's two of those, uh... Yeah, 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 30 seconds. There's two of those reef backs. Those are the reef backs I was talking about that have, like, corals and stuff on their back. Brain corals and stuff that do produce oxygen. That's what they have. So, man, am I glad that I'm over here just kind of, uh, using my scanner room to try and find these wreckages and stuff like that. That's awesome. Now, unfortunately, we... I, I probably should have planned a little bit better for this, to be quite I, I didn't. I didn't know there were actual pieces I could actually, uh, scan or, uh, use the laser gun to actually go inside and all that kind of stuff. So, very, very interesting stuff going on here, you guys. And we do need to use the laser gun here again, so I suppose we could do that. There we go, just keep using the laser gun here. I'm like, we have about two two minutes, yeah, two minutes of oxygen-ish. A little bit less than that, about a minute and a half almost now. So I should be able to get this one nice and cut it open, see what's inside of this. But we do know that there's a fragment of the modification station. It said modification station fragment, so I assume if we scan that, it's not going to be 100%, but we can always just find out. So let's get the scanner thing. Yeah, it seems like you had another door there. Is it going to give me the whole thing? Uh... I think it did! I think it did! It said data bank entry unlocked. I don't think it does that unless you scan the whole entire heckin' thing. It looks like a bunch of fabricators right there. Oh my god, is that the battery? Man, I thought that was the battery charger. Man, I guess not. Okay, okay, what is this? Can't open that. About a minute left until we need to get more oxygen. And nothing back here for scanning. Nothing back there either. Okay, let's go inside this other room. Ba-boom. Battery! Yes! Yes! Battery charger fast when we need to charge our batteries! Yes! Okay, so we have one out of two. <gasps> Modification station two. I think, are we going to get stuff back? Oh, wait, what? In the, oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, two out of three on that one. Okay, that's unfortunate. Whoa. There's a drawing of, uh, or a picture of someone, some fella, some girl. What's that? <gasps> mobile vehicle bay, bay fragment. I'm like, I don't need that. I already have a mobile vehicle bay right now. Propulsion cannon fragment. Do we already have the thing for that? <gasps> now we do. Holy. Yeah, okay. Let me just scan as much. Oh, laser cutter again. Yeah, I'm just getting a bunch of trash. Holy heck. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I'll be able to make it, you guys. Holy heck. Come on. Come on. I should really go back home and grab some more of those uh, those things. Or at least go get my Seamoth. That way, you know, I could just go outside and go inside of the Seamoth, get some more oxygen and stuff like that, you know? Oxygen. Oh, man, that was lucky. How'd I make that? Sheesh. We should definitely explore these uh, these wreckages a little bit more. Especially because there's one there. There's a few more over there and stuff. So I, I don't think every single one of them is going to be exactly like this. You know, where you can go inside and you can explore around and stuff like that. I might want to actually go to those other ones. See what's going on over there. If there's anything interesting like this going on in those other uh, wreckages. Oh, <gasps> data box. Ooh. Lightweight, high capacity tank. <gasps> yes! Disinfective water. Don't need that garbage, but I guess I might as well keep that there. Don't know if there's any uh, other stuff here I could scan. I'm like, it usually shows me, hey, you could scan this. What in the world? Is there something in there? No, I don't think so. Man, I don't think there's anything- oh, oh, a little bit of titanium here, do not need it though. I think we're fine. I think we're fine, you guys. What is this? I don't know. Alright, well, I guess that's it for this place. Is this a battery charger? I don't know what this is. No, that's not. Okay, well, either way, we're one out of two on the battery charger, so that's very interesting stuff. Uh, I kind of want to go around the perimeter of this thing, see if there's any, uh, fragment or anything for me to scan. Alright, well, I guess that's it for this little, uh, oh, quartz right there. Don't need it. Uh, I think I do need it. Maybe I'll come back a little bit later. But, yeah, nothing there. Okay. Well, either way, yeah, I guess I'm going to go back home. Man, we got some really good stuff there, though, you guys. Gotta admit. 30 seconds. 
and 30 seconds of oxygen, 3% power on my sea glide. Thankfully, I have an extra battery in my inventory. Speaking of batteries, we do have one out of two battery charger things. Oh, and there's the, uh, the reef back thing, which has a bunch of different coral type things on its back. Reefs on its back. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's anything else here, you guys. Might want to get in my seamoth or something to go and explore some more somewhere else, but right now, I, I think that's it for this. I think that's it for this one wreckage right here. That's the scanner room fragment, I believe, yes. And we already have a bunch of uh, stuff, so I'm like, we, we can't even grab the water that's back there, so can't really grab anything else either, so anyways, let's just go back home. Definitely want to drop off some of this trash. Might want to make some, uh, some more batteries and stuff like that. Definitely want to go explore more of these wreck sites, you guys. Oh, speaking of batteries, let's go exchange for... There we go, for the 100% battery. I, I do keep my dead batteries, you guys, just in case I... Oh, what in the world? Oh, maybe that's why I died so easy. I guess the light was on. Sheesh. But I do keep my dead batteries to either turn into power cells or something, or in case I want to... Oh, man. Or in case I want to actually use them to, you know, charge whenever I have the uh, the charger thing nice and unlocked and hopefully crafted here in a bit. Anyways, we do have two out of three for the modification station, so I'm very, very happy about that, to be quite honest. We do have a lot of copper over here, which is awesome. Just need to combine that with, like, two acid mushrooms, and we will be good to go in terms of, you know, making more batteries and stuff like that. So, anyways, let me put that up. Let me get some of the water and the salt from this. There we go. Let me go show you guys what's going on upstairs with the, uh, the plants and stuff. I did get rid of that one, just in case we want to build something somewhere else. But look at this! Look at all these plants! It's kind of crazy up here, you guys. Potatoes, yeah, let me grab a few of these. Like, you could physically see, like, little potatoes being, like, picked up out of that, but you can actually physically see it. So, I don't know how many potatoes you get per planter, but as long as we don't grab all of them, so I, I guess we're good to go. But in terms of the marble melon, if we pick that up and we go to the planter, there's a missing slot there, so if we use, uh, if we take marble melons, we definitely want to, you know, grab the seeds back and be able to actually replant them. You can't just leave the same plant there and just keep harvesting the same as, like, like basically harvesting berries from it. I guess you can't just harvest berries from it, because so, I guess you're harvesting the whole plant or something like that, so. Anyways, man, frame rate over here is trash right now. It just got cut in half, probably from the scanner room and stuff like that, you guys. Whew. Anyways, I guess, yeah, I'm going to pause the recording, continue doing some more off-camera stuff. I'll see you guys here in a bit. If we can go explore, man, the frame rate is trash. Anyways, like I said, going to pause the recording, and I'll see you guys here in a bit. Alright guys, back. Man, I just wanted to record this quick clip showing you guys that I finally named the underwater base. Sheesh. I meant to do it like two or three times. Kinda got carried away. I meant to do it on my previous recording session, but that ended up being like three heckin' hours long. So that ended up being like two or so weeks until I recorded again, and here I am. And then I was like, yeah, I'm going to go name the base. And then 20 minutes goes by or something, and I still haven't named it. So now I finally named it. It's called the U Waffle. Some of you guys might be like, okay, what in the heck does that mean? Some guy left a comment saying, that U waffle apparently stands for underwater apartment for future life experiments. I don't know. Maybe we're going to be experimenting with life here in the future. Maybe that alien creature egg, that super rare one. I guess we're going to be experimenting with that one or something like that. But I thought that was an like interesting and kind of clever comment suggestion. I also got some really cool ones that I really wanted to kind of pick, but this one kind of took the cake, to be quite honest. Uh, some of them were like vault tech because it kind of makes sense because, you know, this hatch, I mean, it kind of looks like a vault and stuff like that. Another one was like base. You know, B-A-S-S -S could be like bass. It's, it's kind of interesting, you know, bass and bass. They could be interpreted as either way. Of course, bass is like a fish critter. So that was kind of a cool one as well. And there are also some other ones that I can't remember right off the top of my head, but I thought were really cool too. So thank you guys all very much for leaving comments on episode 5. Finally got around to name and it took like 14 episodes, or actually... I don't know, eight or nine episodes since episode five or something like that. This is probably like episode 14 or 15 or something by now, <laughs> but at least it's finally named. All right, and it's way, way, way more expanded than what it was on episode five. I guess uh, maybe I could show some footage or something like this of what it looked like whenever we first laid down that underwater beacon or something like that. But this is what it looks like right now with the scanner room, the multi-purpose rooms, that multi-purpose room. I also made two more solar panels up here, and now we have a full circle of them up there. So I don't know if we're going to wonder, uh, I don't know if we're going to run out of water. Uh, during the nighttime, but as you can see at the top of the screen, we're at, uh, I guess I'll put it right there, 525 out of 600, and it is broad daylight right now, so it seems like it's teetering on 525 to 526, keeps going back and forth during the daytime, so I assume that all of our stuff runs on about 75 energy during the day, or something like that, I don't know. Maybe, I'm like, if we do need more, of course, we could just kind of 
put them wherever. We could put them above the above the stuff like right here. We don't have to necessarily keep them on top of that. I'm like, I guess we could just put yet another row of them over here, like a like like a shark's uh, mouth has like multiple rows of teeth and stuff like that. I guess we could have multiple rows of heckin' solar panels and stuff like that. But anyways, I am ready to go. I have a uh, oh wait, oh man, these marshmallows. I guess they don't really, really last very long. I might as well eat them. There you go. But man, I thought they lasted a long time, but I guess not. I guess they do. Say it did make sense. The marshmallows do spoil over time so if i do want to have food that'll last a little while i might as well go get myself some peepers and cure them especially uh oh never mind we already have some cure oh man am i glad that i have those Sheesh. but i do have a lot of salt over here from our uh, water thing over here so that's good just kind of grab that go grab a bunch of peepers and stuff like that and we'll be good to go so but anyways i do have my other uh, oxygen tanks right now i guess i could just kind of there you go fill them up like show there we go that one's filled up and do the same thing for that one so now we're gonna have what was it like five minutes of oxygen or something like that i think we figured out of course each one does about to oh wait hold on speaking of oxygen didn't we have a new oxygen tank unlocked or something like that excuse the low frame rate i think that's because of the uh the, the scanner room by the way i guess i could i don't want to turn that off whenever we're about to go out and adventure around and stuff like that there are three new things here in this uh blueprint thing so i want to go see exactly what those are yep there it is right there oh man ah, it's, it's one of those uh modification station things lightweight high capacity tank a lighter build allows for enhanced maneuverability hmm i wonder if, i'm like i never really noticed but i guess maybe my uh my agility my maneuverability is kind of stunted by my current high capacity tank i guess because of how big it is it's not like hydrodynamic i guess you could tell. i was about to say aerodynamic but of course we're underwater right <laughs> Oh, and some of you guys were saying, hey, you can find a Cyclops in the Aurora. So maybe whenever we go over there, hopefully soon, we're going to be able to find Cyclopses, or I guess just one that we scan, because it seems like we just need one to be able to, you know, be able to craft it at the mobile vehicle bay. And speaking of the mobile, I guess there's an upgraded version of the mobile vehicle bay called like the, uh, it starts with the letter M. I forget what it is called, like the moon, I, I keep wanting to say like moon base, but that doesn't make sense. <laughs> but it starts with the letter M. Maybe it is moon base, I don't know. But it starts with the letter M and apparently we dock the sea glide, or not the sea glide, but the, uh, the sea moth. We dock it there and that's where we do the upgrades. Similar to the scanning room, where the actual upgrades are inside the scanning room, I guess we do the actual upgrades or... It has like a fabricator specifically for the upgrades that we can make in the whatever the M base thing is. <laughs> Anyways, what was it? Oh yeah, modification station, nuclear reactor, we already had that. Uh, I don't think there's anything else here that got unlocked. So that's kind of unfortunate. But it seems like all we need is just one more piece of the... Oh wait, yeah, the battery thing, the battery charger, where is that at? I assume it's just like an indoor type uh, machine or something like that. Uh, there it is right there, yeah, battery charger, we're one out of two on that one, so that's very unfortunate that we're not uh, any better in terms of that, but we do have another wreck over here, I wonder what it is. I think I have an extra 100%, oh, whoops, the uh, light is on. There we go. I think I have an extra 100% battery in my inventory, just in case either my seek light or something else ends up running out of charge, I at least have a... Ooh. Ooh, that's... I think we've been down here before, but of course, we went in and straight out immediately, but now we're way more prepared. Oh man, there are those snake fellows. Yeah, I definitely want to stay away from that. Holy heck. I don't know... I guess we could scan it, you know? Uh, I don't know if I want to. Can I grab these things? I guess not. Let's go over here. We've got a pretty good amount of oxygen that we could do. Oh, oh whoa, what? Whoa, whoa, that's underwater death. Oh wait, that's the wreckage right there. I guess we're a lot closer than I thought. There's wreckage there. There's fish fellows. Kinda wanna scan the fellows. I did uh, just give my scanner gun a brand new battery. So we're really good on that front. Is this the, uh, the abandoned base? Or is this not? It is the abandoned base. Okay, so it took us back over here. Interesting stuff. Don't think there's anything else over here worthwhile. Uh, that's the data lo or data bank or whatever that was. Don't think there's anything else here to scan. Speaking of going back to old bases and stuff like that, I, I kind of want to go back to the 500 meters underwater Degazi base over by the Degazi Islander. Whatever that was called, I forget. But I do want to get out of here real quick. Switch out my, uh, my oxygen tank. There we go. Back up. Another 90 seconds of oxygen. Okay, well, this is where we need to go. But I do want to go back there both to get the creature egg as well as to kind of do a little bit more thorough like search around there but of course that is 500 meters below the surface so of course our sea moth is not able to go that far underwater without i guess collapsing in on itself due to all the pressure so i assume we're not able to take that 
all the way underwater, so I assume if we want to do that, we need to get out of the Seamoth itself. Altera vending machine. <laughs> There's like chips and stuff inside. There's snacks. Can I scan that? Oh, I can. Holy heck. Oh my gosh. Will this actually like give me food? Oh, blueprint synthesized. Scan a room fragment. I guess I can scan these. I'm like, I do have an empty inventory nowadays, or, you know, relatively empty. So I might as well grab a. Don't need the metal salvage, though. So I might as well grab as much stuff as I can in terms of uh, metal salvage. Yeah, I don't need that. Uh, even though the extra scanner room fragments, all that kind of stuff, even though those things do. Uh, speaking of scanner, there's another one right here. Even though these do basically give me titanium, it seems like it gives me two rather than a metal salvage thing giving me. Was it basically four inventory slots worth? So I don't need that much uh, inventory. Oh, bioreactor fra I think I have that? Yeah, I already have that. It just gave me a bunch of titanium instead of- Oh, sheesh. I thought I was way closer to the surface than I was. Man, need to get on my sea ladder and at least go to the- This guy. The re- Oh, I guess this one doesn't have a uh, brain core on his back. Okay, whatever. Maybe there's different- Maybe that's a younger one. Maybe that one just doesn't have any uh, corals and stuff growing on his back because nothing's gotten around to actually, you know, growing on his heckin' back. Anyways, switch out to this one, charge that one up with a- Well, charge or fill up with a bunch of oxygen. <laughs> whatever you want to say. And let's go right back down. It does seem like there's a that right there. It does seem like there's a big No, I guess that's a natural thing. I thought that was a piece of the uh piece of the ship. But I guess not. Yeah, just temporarily using the light right now, you guys. I know I'm going to get comments saying, hey, that wastes energy or whatever. I guess I could get this. Sandstone sand stone outcrop. But of course. It's easier for me to see and stuff like that, too. But anyways, don't know if there's anything around here for me to scan still. Uh, what is that? Oh, yeah, metal salvage. Yeah, I don't need that garbage. There are still a couple other locations we can go to. Of course, we did get the vending machine here, so that's kind of interesting. <laughs> but I guess that's it. There isn't really anything else here. I'm like, I did have a couple scanner room fragments, which is great, because if I uh, didn't have the scanner room right now, of course, I'd be able to scan it, <laughs> which is kind of funny, scanning the scanner room. 